Well, I'm back in Florida. Been here for about a week. Um, sitting by Baldwin Lake. I just took a bike ride. Uh, I've been away for two months. Uh, first month I spent in Santa Fe at a uh, Zen Buddhist center. And then the second month I spent in Arizona, going through the northern part down to Phoenix. Hung out in Phoenix for about three, four weeks and uh, just was not able to find any work. So my car needs some servicing and I was running out of money. So I got a uh, temp assignment. Sorry about the plane overhead. Hope you can hear me. Um, yeah, so I finished a one-week temp assignment this past week, and I'm um, waiting to get some more work. I'm really fortunate that I have two good friends, uh, my old roommates. I'm back with them. And um, as it turns out, my daughter that lives here may start working overnight shifts, so uh, may need me to go uh, take care of my granddaughter which means I have somewhere else to stay. So it can be challenging, I have to say, for me to not have a steady flow of income. And I have not figured out how I can make money remotely. So I need to be able to get work that will sustain me and I can save some so that I could be on the road for a month or two. Um, the brake repairs that had to be done when I was in Santa Fe ate up $400, so that kind of messed me up. And now with um, the O2 sensor needing to be repaired, that's another roughly $300. So my goal at this point is to work for a few months and uh, get the car repaired so that I can use it to get to work, but I only owe about $1,800 on it. So I want to pay it off and save as much as I can over the next few months and hopefully by May, either one, buy a SUV outright or have enough for a significant down payment that my monthly payments on another vehicle will be fairly minimal. I've heard that um, you can find SUVs for about 3000 that are still in really good mechanical sound condition. So I would prefer to just pay for it outright and not have that expense, which would make my monthly expenses really, really low. My car payment at this point is my largest monthly expense. So like I said, um, my goal is to get that paid down over the next paid off actually over the next few months while saving money for for something else which I can do um, either one staying with my roommates pretty affordably or better yet uh, staying with my daughter which wouldn't cost me anything because in exchange I'd be um, babysitting overnight while she's working so just a few things that I learned on the road um, is it is a bit challenging doing stealth camping, um, especially in places that you don't know that well. And I actually know the Phoenix area pretty well, um, but a lot had changed since my living there about 10 years ago. And so I only experienced one time that someone knocked on the window in the middle of the night and I was uh, hotel stealth camping. <laughs> And um, it was three little taps. The guy was security. He said he was security. I didn't open the window. I just, the, the car was quiet and dark and he just left. And um, so I stayed through the night and left in the morning and um, minimized hotel stealth camping. For me, uh, neighborhoods seem to feel better for me where I can just blend in with other cars. I wouldn't mind doing camping in actual campsites if other people are sort of around. I found BLM land to be a little intimidating for me right now. 
um, my imagination runs wild <laughs> and I just picture like some crazy person you know cutting me up in pieces and, and leaving me there and no one would find me for ever or years so I have to kind of get over that fear uh, for whatever reason I'm less afraid to to sleep in parking lots or neighborhoods um, so uh, for now that would be my path but when I get the next vehicle um, I want to do more research on uh, caravan camping I would really love to go with groups of other people and sort of travel and, and, and camp together and still be in your own vehicle individually and also I'd get some um, alarms and maybe censored lighting um, we'll see because that wouldn't be really conducive to stealth camping if the lights go on but maybe they could be used when I'm in um, more private places anyway that's where I'm at for now um, I just did a really nice bike ride and I'm gonna finish up and uh, have uh, a great afternoon yourself okay bye bye